I'm 50 years old and my wife is 49 years old. We have been married for 20 plus years. I just found out that my wife is having an affair with a man in his 30s. Completely hurt over this and have started divorce proceedings. Obviously, this has been hard on our four children, but I cannot spend the rest of my life with someone I can't trust. Before we got married, my wife's family had money and demanded I sign the prenup. I had no problem, but since then, the family had lost the money due to bad investments and lawsuits. My wife was a stay-at-home mom for the majority of our marriage. Our youngest child is 19, and because of the prenup, she can't get alimony. In short, my wife would be screwed. The only thing we owned together was our house. And while it's paid off, my wife wouldn't be able to afford the upkeep or HOA fees, so she would be effectively homeless. I have no intention on giving her any type of support for any reason. Since serving my wife divorce papers, I have refused direct contact as my lawyer has advised, but she's now playing dirty by getting the children involved. We have two boys, 23 and 21 years old, and two girls, 25 and 19. And my wife has been pleading with them to get me to agree to halt the divorce proceedings in favor of canceling. After I told my children that I have no interest wasting any more of my life with that woman, they have all essentially backed off, except for my oldest, Christy. She's very close to her mother and can't imagine life where her parents aren't married. Christy tells me that her mother realizes her mistake and will do whatever it takes to make things right. She says that I owe it to the family to work things out. I refuse and told her that it wasn't her place to make those kinds of demands. Since then, the only time Christy talks to me is when she's sobbing and asking me not to destroy the family. I understand that this is hard for her and offered to pay therapy so she can cope. But she said there wouldn't be anything to cope with if I wasn't trying to divorce her mother since Christy is too emotional to act within reason and refuse therapy. I have been resolved to limit contact until after the divorce. However, my other children are saying that Christy's behavior is getting worse. Am I the a-hole for taking a step away from my daughter for a while? Update. All right, I read a couple of responses and I just wanted to clarify some things. Clearly, my she will effectively be homeless comment was misinterpreted. So let me set the record straight. Because my wife and I own the house, so long as we sell the house and split the proceeds, she will get something. My wife didn't give up her career to raise my children. We could have hired a nanny, but she didn't want that and chose to be a stay-at-home mom for our children. Because of her family money, she was getting monthly allowances from the estate. Plus, I pay for housekeeping to make things easier on her. Once my wife reached 30, she started getting a monthly allowances from the family estate and the prenup address that I couldn't claim half. In exchange, she couldn't get alimony. I didn't want to get my children involved in the divorce. My wife decided to do that and even brought up the reason why as a form of preemptive strike. I only talk about the divorce when someone brings it up, which Christy wants to do all the time. I am not abandoning my daughter. I'm just lowering contact with her until the divorce is finalized because she's not letting up on trying to pressure me into taking her mother back and refuse to go to therapy that I will pay for. Also, to the comment asking why my wife cheated, it's a little offensive. I don't know how that changes anything or that I should care. However, the guy that she cheated on me with was younger. Looked like he couldn't be older than 30. So take that information and do what you will. Update. I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful to all your kind words and support on how to deal with my daughter. I decided to follow some of your advice and have a scheduled sit down with her to explain 
what goes on between her mother and I is not her fault and that I simply can't ever go back to a woman who deceived me in such a big way. I told her that I tried to be as forgiving and empathetic as possible, but I would not ever tolerate people who lie with malicious and selfish intent and try to cut them out of my personal life as much as possible. I was very calm when I said this and tried to be as loving as I could to my child, but it didn't work. Christy ended up breaking down and again tried to get me to convince me not to divorce her mother and just forgive her. I refused and, in the end, went no contact with Christy for a little bit. I only spoke to her again two days before my other daughter, Jane, 20 years old, birthday, threw a text asking her to not bring up the divorce since this was going to be the first time my wife and I would be in each other's presence since I filed. I sent the same text to her mother and I didn't hear anything from either of them. On Jane's birthday, things were a little tense and awkward, but I thought it was going well until my wife decided to be passive aggressive with a speech about how good it is to have family together on important events. Everyone saw through her crap and my son Jack, 23 male, called her out on it and said she was selfish to bring this up on Jane's birthday. Christy started defending her mother and Jane, understandably upset, revealed that the only reason Christy was on their mother's side for reconciliation was because she didn't want the fact that she not only knew about the affair but helped her mother to cover it up. There was a big fight that wasn't going to get resolved right then and there. I ended up leaving and was even more heartbroken all over again. Not only did my wife betray me, but my own daughter too. I knew she was closer to her mother than me and I was okay with that. But this, I don't know what I did to my eldest daughter to make her so disloyal to me. But I am now resolved to go full no contact with her until the divorce and possibly for the rest of my life. I know this will be hard on our children, but I didn't expect my oldest child, Christy, 25 female, to be so against the divorce and insist that I work things out with her mother, and I quote, for the good of the family, close quote. They all know why I'm divorcing their mother. I told my daughter that my decision is firm I have tried to talk to my daughter about my perspective and that I would never expect her to choose between us, but she didn't want to hear it. Christy was very upset and I tried to recommend therapy to help her process and cope, but she insisted that there wouldn't be any need for her to go to counseling if I didn't divorce her mother. I felt like Christy was trying to pressure me into staying, which I didn't think was fair and decided to go no contact with her until the divorce was finalized. Apparently, after I filed, my wife accidentally sent a text to the wrong child, confirming that Christy had indeed known about the affair for months and would cover for her. The rest of my children talked about it and decided to stay out of it, which I don't hold against them. But my youngest daughter was so sick of Christy and my wife for making her birthday about them that she blurted it out in the heat of the moment. Since then, I have assured the rest of my children that I will always be their dad and love them, but have gone no contact with Christy since the birthday event. Right now, I am shutting down all her attempt to talk to me because I'm just too upset. Some days I feel like what Christy did was worse than what my wife did and I'm not sure I want a relationship with her in the foreseeable future. What should I do?